Let's take a look at this clear practice padlock. Now the, the whole goal of this is to um, mimic what the key does. So I've got a set of keys here. I'm going to show you up close here if I can get a kind of zoom in. Um, what we're going to do is what the key does is line up these pins. So you'll see how the pins are all lined up like that. And what that allows is the tumbler, this uh, cylinder here, to turn and then allow the lock to pop. So what we're trying to do is mimic that. Now, by putting the, the pick in there and just simply pushing down on it, um, what's happening, you'll see the, the pins moving, right? But they're, they're bouncing back up. So that, that's not gonna allow us to turn the, uh, turn the tumbler here. So what we need is the torsion wrench. And now the, the purpose of the torsion wrench is to actually kind of jam it in there. What, it, what it's doing, um, you know, what's happening is it, it's jamming the pins. So by putting just, just a, a slight amount of pressure on there, what's happening is it's binding these pins and allowing <clears throat> or creating uh, the effect so the pins can't come back up. So basically, the basic premise again is just to push them down with the pick and create a binding effect with the torsion wrench so that these pins will stay down and create that nice straight line that we saw with the key. So what, I, what I'm gonna show you right now is what's called raking. This is the simplest way to uh, pop a lock. Um, not a lot of dexterity in this, but it, it works. Um, now when we say raking, this isn't like going back and forth like this. You'll see it's a very, it's still fairly, um, uh, you know, soft and you have to have a little bit of finesse with it, but it's a lot easier than actual picking. So what we're going to do here again is just put just a slight amount of pressure on it with my finger here to cause a binding effect. And again, you'll get the feel of that as you go. So what I'm going to do is just kind of run my brake across or my hook across there. And what it's doing is it's pushing down on these pins. Now you'll see up close here, I'm going to show you this guy right here. This pin has gone down too far. And that's, uh, you know, that I won't be able to open the lock at that point. So what I'm going to do is just slightly let off the, the wrench here and let it pop back. And that actually lined up all these pins. Now I felt this move. So that means that this, this is ready to open. I'm just going to push on it. There we go. We just popped it.